never thought that the shirt I wore to school on March 21st would lead me to speak with you today. Un video de un valiente estudiante de secundaria que denuncia a su escuela por castigarlo por usar una camiseta que declara que solo hay dos géneros se ha vuelto viral mientras la familia del niño considera emprender acciones legales contra el distrito escolar. On that Tuesday morning, I was taken out of gym class to sit down with two adults for what turned out to be a very uncomfortable talk. I was told that people were complaining about the words on my shirt, that my shirt was making some students feel unsafe. El video ha recibido casi 4 millones de visitas. El video, tomado de una reunión del comité escolar el 13 de abril, muestra al estudiante explicando lo sucedido. Morrison dijo que no recibió ningún rechazo de sus compañeros de clase o maestros debido a la camiseta. They told me that I wasn't in trouble, but it sure felt like I was. I told, I was told, that I would need to remove my shirt before I could return to class. When I nicely told them that I didn't want to do that, they called my father. Thankfully, my dad supported my decisions and came to pick me up. What did my shirt say? Five simple words. There are only two genders. Nothing harmful, nothing threatening. Just a statement I believe to be a fact. I have been told that my shirt was targeting a protected class. Who is this protected class? Are their feelings more important than my rights? I don't complain when I see pride flags and diversity posters hung throughout the school. Do you know why? Because others have a right to their beliefs just as I do. Not one person, staff, or student told me that they were bothered by what I was wearing. Actually, just the opposite. Several kids told me that they supported my actions and that they wanted one too. Una carta del 27 de abril, compilada por el abogado del personal del Instituto Familiar de Massachusetts, Samuel Whiting, explicó la experiencia de Morrison, identificando a los adultos que lo confrontaron sobre la camisa, como la directora interina Heather Tucker y un consejero escolar no identificado. Whiting dijo que el estudiante se perdió el resto de sus clases ese día y su educación porque su padre y su madrastra se vieron obligados a recogerlo cuando se negó a quitarse la camisa. I feel like these adults were telling me that it wasn't okay for me to have an opposing view. Their arguments were weak, in my opinion. I didn't go to school that day to hurt feelings or cause trouble. I have learned a lot from this experience. I learned that a lot of other students share my view. I learned that adults don't always do the right thing or make the right decisions. I know that I have a right to wear those five, a shirt with those five words. Even at 12 years old, I have my own political opinions, and I have a right to express those opinions. Even at school, this right is called the First Amendment to the Constitution. My hope in being here tonight is to bring the school committee's attention to this issue. I hope that you will speak up for the rest of us so we can express ourselves without being pulled out of class. Next time, it may not only be me. There might be more students that decide to speak out. Thank you for your time and good night. Thanks.